Hey, what's that? And my name is D, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my bookish hot takes. I put out a poll asking which you would prefer, my bookish hot takes or books and series that I've DNF'd, and this was the poll that's had the most votes, and it was neck and neck almost the entire way through. And then it, at the end, my bookish hot takes just kind of inched just slightly ahead at the very end there. So because it was basically half and half, if you voted for books and series that I DNF'd, I'm gonna do that as next week's midweek video, so. But today I'm gonna do my bookish hot takes and these are just mine. I would love to do a video where I react to your bookish hot takes, but um, none of you follow me on Instagram, so I didn't know if I could do like a, like I didn't know how I could gather those. I guess you could just comment in the video down below or you know follow me on Instagram at underscore dfredder and um, I'll put up one of those like question things on my stories in the next couple of days. But yeah, I think it'd be pretty fun to react and respond to your bookish hot takes in a future video, but today these are just mine and we can discuss them in the comment section down below, but uh, you're not gonna change my mind. Okay, so hot take number one, this might be the one that gets me the most heat or I might get the most like, I don't know, flack for it, but um, I will never, ever read Brandon Sanderson. I have a short list of authors that I won't read. For a lot of those authors, it's because they've said or done something or their books contain things that are harmful towards marginalized communities. Like for me personally, I just think that life is too short to read books or support authors who uphold like racism, patriarchy, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, any of that stuff. But with Sanderson, I don't think that, like I don't know anything about him, right? I don't think he fits that criteria and I'm glad that he exists and I'm glad that so many people get like enjoyment and joy out of his works. But some of his fandom gives me the ick. And if you're watching this, you're probably not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dudes who like mansplain the Cosmere to women who've read multiple books from the Cosmere or the entire thing or whatever. And I don't know, I just find that kind of like gatekeeping the fandom annoying. And I'm a big fan of One Piece and a couple other anime. I've plugged into enough toxic fandoms, so. And if you're one of my subscribers who's also a fan of One Piece, I'm not saying the whole fandom is toxic. I'm just saying that there's some people in the fandom who said some pretty racist shit to me. <laughs> yeah, with Sanderson, I'm sure his stuff is dope. I just don't want to like engage with the fandom. And also from what I've seen, I think he writes a type of fantasy that I'm not super interested in anyway. But yeah, I'm glad Sanderson exists. I'm glad that people enjoy reading his work. I just will never read him, partly because I just don't really want to deal with fanboys. And also just like looking at the covers, the covers are beautiful and dope and all that, but they also look like the kind of fantasy that I'm not super interested in. I have briefly touched on it before, but I'm not a big fan of like, I guess high fantasy that's inspired by like medieval times, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, that kind of thing. I just don't like that vibe. Hot take number two, I'm not into like white or white coated white and silver haired characters. So like if I'm in a bookstore and I see a cover that has like the protagonist and they have white silver hair or whatever, I, I'm not picking up that book. I understand the draw and the symbolism. I get the trope, the near human, the human alien. They stand out and they stand above regular humans. I get that. I just, for me, it's just played out. And Sonny, Roro, if you guys are watching and you're like, oh D, what about Kakashi from Naruto or Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen? They, are exceptions. Also, if the character's black or dark-skinned and has white hair, I think I'm a little bit more interested because the aesthetic is cool. Like, the contrast between, like, really light hair and dark skin looks really cool to me. That's how I ended up reading Children of Blood and Bone, which I didn't like very much, but it did get me. Hot take number three, I think that duologies should be more common, and I think trilogies should be less common, because a lot of trilogies and even quadrilogies are longer than they need to be. And I've read a couple of trilogies where book two isn't a complete story. But I think in some cases, you could cut out the important story beats from the middle book, put them in the first and the final book, and have like a duology of thicker books, and skip a bunch of filler. Hot take number four, this is on world building. If the information in the exposition isn't relevant to the story or helpful for understanding the context of the world, I don't care. It, like if it's a fantasy and the character's eating a pastry made from an imaginary fruit like cocoa berries or dragon fruit berry catills berries, I, I don't care what those are. I'm like, got it, it's a fruit. That's all I need to know, right? If they're eat And if they're eating said pastry with like, cutlery they got from their grandma 
Like, if you're going to mention Grandma, she better have, like, a gruesome death in the next couple of scenes. Or it turns out she's, like, the big bad villain of the whole story. And this is the last one that I could think of. Hot take number five. Screen adaptations do not have to be one-for-one adaptations of a book. Adaptations are interpretations, and sometimes things have to be changed around or cut to like accommodate the medium, whether that's a movie or a TV show. And sometimes when people negatively review a screen adaptation, they just say that things were changed, and I'm always thinking to myself, changes in and of themselves are not a bad thing. You may not like the change, but the change is not the problem. And obviously if there's too many changes and the adaptation isn't really faithful to the source material then that's a different issue but sometimes i think people get bent out of shape over like minor shit sometimes i think people get bent out of shape over minor changes that had to be done for the sake of it's a movie not a book and books and movies tell stories in different ways and have different constraints and limitations and the director or production studio or whatever is presenting an interpretation of that story also i don't think like a poorly made movie that's an adaptation of a book ruins the book the book still exists it's unchanged i do understand it could leave a bad taste in your mouth but it doesn't ruin it you know what i'm saying yeah i couldn't really think of other hot takes because a lot of the things that i see people kind of like argue about in a silly way online it's stuff that i don't really care about you know like dog earring you know if i lend you a book don't dog ear it because i don't really do that but if you do that with your own i don't really care and if you just do it instead of using a bookmark and then unfold it or, or you know, set it right after you're done with that page, like, I don't know, I don't think that's that big a deal. Maybe that's a hot take, I don't know. <laughs> or, you know, like, matte finish versus gloss finish for covers or paperback or hardback or, you know, like, audiobooks versus ebooks or, or, or whatever. A lot of that stuff, I just don't care what someone else's opinion is. I know what I like, I know my preferences, but I, I just don't. Think that other people are beholden to my preferences when it comes to books and stuff like that or really anything you know like um on tiktok i like to tease one of my mutuals because he likes breadcrumbs or, or just doesn't mind breadcrumbs on his macaroni and cheese and i really don't like them and so i'll tease him i call them breadcrumbs and stuff like that but i actually don't care it's funny a couple comments like a few weeks ago oh geez just broke my chair it's funny a couple comments <laughs> <sighs> last winter i bought this fucking chair and it was such a huge step up from the office chair that i'd had before and i'd had that office chair for like 13 years um but the arm keeps breaking off so that's really annoying um maybe one day i'll like really break the bank and get a nice like youtuber chair or whatever but I don't even remember what I was saying, and I didn't really write any notes. So yeah, I don't really have like a ton of hot takes because maybe I'm just not a hot person. I came out wrong. I guess it's not so much that I don't have hot takes because I'm sure some of my preferences or opinions are kind of wild, and I just don't know because I don't really say them to my friends or whatever, right? Like that whole, I'm not really into Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, or any of that type of high fantasy, like... I'm not going to fight anybody on that. I don't care. Like, if you like that stuff, that's dope. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I'm not not confrontational, but I also don't see the point in arguing over stuff that I don't think is, like, that important. Yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be a shorter video. Before I forget, I, I feel like I post too much on my community tab, so I'm just going to say it here. If you're one of the indie authors who sent me, like, an e-copy of your book or sent me a copy of your book, like, physically, I have them. And I'm going to read them and do a review video on them. I, I'm just fucking swamped right now. I don't know if I mentioned this. I probably shouldn't. But uh, I'm presenting. I'm like performing at Vancouver Writers Festival this year. And I have a bunch of like classes books on like writing workshops and lesson plans. And then I'm trying to just like keep up with this list that I have here. And I'm also, you know, I've, I've been busy like trying to plan uh, some other stuff like studio time and, and whatever so i've just been really busy and so i'm gonna get to them eventually and i'm sorry if you've been like tapping your foot or whatever i i, I don't know when i'm gonna get to it but um i will also somebody messaged me on coffee your ko-fi or whatever it's called um i do not take commissions for reviews that's not really a thing that i'm doing right now I think primarily because I'm pretty new to reviewing books and I don't really know what I'm 
doing. And I don't know if that's the direction I really want to go in. Like I definitely love talking about books, but I also want to kind of expand and talk more about writing and, and stuff like that. So, um, thank you for asking, but no, um, I, I don't take commissions. I do accept tips and, and, and support for the channel, but that's just like to help enable me to make this content and, and help pay for gear so that I can make other content and more content. Cause I have some ideas and and whatever, and that, and that's what it's for. But I I don't take commissions specifically to review things because, as I just don't think that's what I uh want to do exactly. I don't know what I want to do. Really, you know, it's, it's a big question. Anyways, I'm yapping. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. We are getting very close to a thousand subscribers, and when we get there. I'm gonna do a special couples review video with my wife. She's super funny and we're gonna give each other a book to read and review and then review it at each other. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's coming soonish. I mean, whenever we get there and then after we've read the books, right? Um, and like I said a couple of seconds ago, if you wanna support the channel, support what I'm trying to do, make this content, make these videos, uh, you can tip me slash buy me a coffee link for that will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching. My name is D. Don't fret. I'll see you next time. Peace out.